Now, there is one other technique that I've heard about, which quite honestly I've never used, um, but uh, I've been told that in cases where you've got this old lead tubing, it's going into the wood, that what you can do is you can take just, you can take a piece of tubing, I'm just going to cut off a piece here, hang on. You can take a piece of tubing and just glue it right into the hole. This is what I've heard. I've never tried it. So this is the first. I've been told that you could just stick it right down in the hole. Well, obviously that's not working real well. Certainly not going down in very far. I don't know how you could get it to go in any further. I mean, in a I want to see how far in it's going. It's really not going in very far. I clean off the glue so that I can see. Uh, it's going in about that far. Just curious now as to how much it's collapsing. Uh, how much it's collapsing the tubing as it goes in. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this uh, with the camera. Let's see, how can I do this? see that. It's not a real good fit. I mean it's certainly tight. There's no way I can show you how much that's collapsing that. But I guess that's one way of doing it. I mean, I guess that's fine if you're never going to have to disconnect it. Uh, the reason I like these techniques is that, you know, they offer you the ability to go ahead and connect a piece of tubing on, and then at some later date, you can disconnect it. You know, so uh, to me that to me that's a preferable for when I want to do maintenance and stuff like that. I want to be able to disconnect the disconnect the tubing from the, whatever device it is that I'm working with instead of having to pull out the tubing and then re-glue it back in. So anyhow, one more technique.